Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Now, we've got a German beer. We have got a beer which I've been looking forward to uh, reviewing for a very long time. And, um, <laughs> she's looking at me. <laughs> Inya, you're looking at me. Don't, give, don't look at me like that. We've got, we've got a German beer. We've got a German beer. <laughs> Here we have. I've been waiting to do this one for ages. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Go on, bugger off. <laughs> right, we got German beer that uh, I've been looking forward to. It's one from one of my favourite um, German breweries because they do my favourite uh, wheat beer, which you can pick up in Sainsbury's. And we're going to Wein Stefan in I think it's near Munich. One of the oldest breweries in the world, if not the uh, the oldest brewery in the world, uh, doesn't sound the best. Anyway, we have got their Vitus Weizenbock. There you go, Weizenbock. Vitus. Now I've been wanting to try this for ages. Um, there's a back size, seven point seven percent ABV, and um, yeah, named after Saint Vitus. Got me notes. Named after Saint Vitus, who, who who's a, a patron of the Catholic Church, basically. And um I think that must be him there with the uh feather with the quill. Go in. Got a long hair there, could be a rock star, couldn't he? Um bottom fermented, I think, because it's a bock. So bock is a bottom fermented type of lagery type of German beer. Weizen, I would say, would be wheat. Um, you can murder me in the comments. I would say it is. Um, as far as the English is concerned, on the back of this label, it says, store dark, keep cool, do not shake. So there you go. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Very much so. So, is um, anything else on it worth mentioning? Nope, nothing on there. Nothing on there, there's nothing there that says anything else worth that you can get. Is it 10 cents, is it? I don't know. Well, if you kind of like chuck your bottle back wherever they need to, you get about 10p. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, cracker open. There is the beautiful Vine Stefan crown. There you go. See what we get. You do get a subtle tone of spices, definitely. Um, dark wheat, I would say more Weetabix wheat type of thing coming from it. She smells lovely. Real kind of like um, Windy Miller windmill type of thing. You know, grinding out the, the grain and the the wheat. And you got a bit of spice, a bit of clove on it. Lovely. So let's back her out. See what we get. Very cloudy looking. Made a muck up of that. Look at that. As you can see, boys and girls, I've, I've made a muck up of it. Do apologise. Very hazy looking uh, beer. And I see there the head is uh, very compacted actually, as you can see there, very compacted, packed bubbles. So I do apologise for that. Um, again, oops, you get a sense of get a sense of strength and a bit sense of cloveness, which you would kind of like associate with a wheat beer. But you get like a dark um, brownness there about it. Also, it's, it's all there. She's making a racket now. You're making a racket. Anyway, I'm going to go in. So, cheers. Mm. 
That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, where do I start? It, it feels like freshly baked granary bread. It feels like that. It, it's just wonderful. You get a slight hint of burntness, say from the crust of the bread. Do get a hint of clove. There's a hint of a hint of spice to it, but the the biggest the biggest kind of like um, taste note is the granary bread. It is absolute belter, absolute belter. Really is. I have to top it up, like you do. And this is it. It's kind of like with me with Brian Stefan. The beers I've had, they've all seemed, all the taste notes feel like they've been kind of like uh, amplified in a way. You're getting bigger taste notes from these beers, they do. And um, with with the wheat beer, it was the same. You get bigger clove, bigger banana, that type of thing going on. It's the same with this one. You're getting bigger... Um, brandness, you're getting a bigger cloveness, and it suits this beer. It's just bags of flavour, and I can't, you know, hand on heart, it, you, you, I can't come across a German brewer like that. Um, Erdinger, they're great beers, they tend to be kind of like subdued taste notes. Um, Franciscana, it's the same. They're great beers. They're all sub subdued in a way. With Brian Stefan, they're kind of like boom in your face, and I love that. Going again. Big granary feel, big clove, big bold boldness about it. Big bowl flavours. She's making a racket. Um, it's wonderful. It really is. It really is a cracking, cracking beer. Um, very, very, very happy with that. Very impressive, that. Very impressive. Um, one of the best German beers. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> and I'm getting some decent beers for once. <laughs> that, my friends. Check that out. That is brilliant. Brilliant beer. Brilliant. Well, on that score, murder me in the comments. Um, you know, uh, tell me what you think of uh, that one. See you, boys and girls, on my next one. So, cheers.